today we're going to fit the Moto Bright warning triangle for motorcycles from the company Bright Angle. And we've got this from our friends over at sporttouring.com in Wales. So let's get it fitted. So we use the handy shad top box to keep everything in and off the floor. Not that it's raining, it's a lovely day. And first thing we're going to do is whip off the plate. Okay, so number plate is off, and I think I'm going to use the opportunity to have a bit of a clean up in here. It's absolutely filthy. I'm going to get some uh, sort of black uh, paint on that once I've sorted that out. Yep. Got the back of the plate. Okay, so that's a bit better. So let's go on to the next stage now. So in the box, we have got some fitting instructions and we've got all the bits and bobs out of the box ready to go. And of course, we're gonna aim for these holes here to fit the backing plate too. So the universal backing plate is nicely in place using the original black plastic screws that fitted the original plate on. And now we're gonna pop on the unit that holds the lights. Okay, here's the unit that we're gonna fit. So you can see here, you've got the, the triangle here with the LEDs that are gonna light up. And there's a little switch here in the middle that you can hear that. And when the back is closed, with the number plate sitting on the back, that presses that switch to turn the lights off. And as soon as you pop these in the side to drop this down, the lights will come on. So wherever you're stuck at the side of the road stationary, or you're in a, you know, accident of an accident or bad traffic jam where you're just gonna be sitting there for a while, or if you break down, that's perfect. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit this before I put the batteries in here, because I don't wanna be dazzled while I'm fitting it. So we're now gonna get that with these four uh, holes here onto the backing plate. Okay, that's the unit actually in place, and you can see that's in the dropped down position, which is if you uh, come to a, have to come to a stop because your bike conks out or you're at a scene of an accident and you want to warn stuff coming up behind you that you're there, then that's the position that you drop it down in. It's not flashing at the moment because I haven't put the batteries in yet, which I'm going to do last because I don't want to dazzle myself when I'm doing it. Because what happens is when you drop down this back panel here, there's a little switch here. If you can hear this, that will turn it off. And then when you drop the back panel down, it will turn that unit on. So what happens is, this just closes and then you've got these little push bits on the side. I'll go around here. That just nicely click in place and that unit will be off now. So you've got a reflective strip across the bottom as well, which is good. And then the number plate. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We'll go in here. Unfortunately, <clears throat> I have to get a new plate because mine was drilled at the top and the holes here are at the side. But what I'm gonna do for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna get some two sticky pads, and bash that on the back there. Those sticky pads are okay because that's what you put them on uh, a lot of cars with. Um, but for me, with the two holes in, I'm going to get a new plate. But meanwhile, that will do the trick. So that when it's look, that's what it looks like on the bike. And to be honest with you, it's pretty neat. You can't really tell it's on there. So that looks really good. So the next thing we're going to do is pop those batteries in and see if it works. 
Um, what you can do as well is, if we just get a little bit closer, well, well, that's one way of taking it off. When you uh, drop this down, obviously you won't be able to see your plate because you'll pop that down here and here and drop that down. That's not bad one handed, is it? Holding a camera. What you can do is buy a second plate which goes in here. So if any emergency vehicles are looking for you, uh, they'll have your registration. They'll be able to, or you know, rescue vehicles or AA, whatever. They'll be able to see your plate if you have a second plate in there. Uh, not that there will be too many vehicles on the side of the road with a flashing triangle. So that's up to you if you want to do that. So let's get those batteries in and see what it looks like. Right, stuck the plate on. So there she blows. And what I'm going to do now is unscrew these four things here and pop in three AA batteries. It's quite cool because it tells you where to unscrew and what batteries you need. Okay, so that's the finished job. That's the Motorbrite motorcycle warning triangle from the company Bright Angle. And that's neatly and nicely in place. So, exciting bit now, the batteries are already in. So let's drop it down and have a look how bright it is. Here we go. So, imagine, I've conked out the side of the road. It's dark, a bit worried about all the cars that uh, could be coming my way. So, whilst we're waiting to be rescued, we just pop it there. Obviously, if you're doing this two-handed, it's easier, but I'm thinking one-handed. There we go. And, blimey, that's decent. So there it is in full working order. And what the camera doesn't do is it complete justice for how bright that is. I think the camera is compensating for it somehow. But that is really bright anyway. And you can be seen up to 300 meters away at night. And you could argue, why don't you just put your hazard warning lights on? You're in, both your indicators flashing at the same time. Well, you could do, but you couldn't if your battery's gone. If your battery's kaput, this could save your bacon. So yeah, definitely recommend this. And it's really light as well. It's not cumbersome at all. So the Motorbright motorcycle warning triangle from Bright Angle available through sporttouring.com.